My name is Josh Minsky. I'm the first assistant here at Weak Paw Golf Club. I've been in the position now for three years. I was the outside service supervisor for six years here. I was actually the first PGA member that went through all their education at Weekapaw Golf Club. So it's been a big piece of my, my role in becoming a PGA member. Well, my name's Nick Jevis. I went through the NMSU PGA Golf Management Program. Did a handful of internships across the country. Graduated, got my class A in January of 2021, and I've been at Weekapaw ever since. Started when my, my grandpa took me when I was nine years old. Just fell in love with it. I always wanted to go with him every day in summer. Go play now with my grandpa, just, just absolutely loved it. Grew up, my dad played golf, uh, my whole family kind of played golf. I, I love the game of golf. It doesn't love me back all the time, but I love the game of golf. You have your good days and your bad days, but there's definitely more good than bad days when you're out there. So my philosophy is all about understanding what we're doing. If we don't trust it in our mind, the change is never gonna happen. We're never gonna be successful as a team moving forward. Sometimes I'll tell them, hey, let's get away from this a little bit. I know why you are trying to do this, but this is what we wanna do, and here's why. With your guy that's just trying to go out, play better with his friends, I would find the thing that's prevalent in their swing that'll fix the most things at once. High level player that's going out and playing in golf tournaments. Typically it's more just like nitty gritty little things like that. Maybe a little path here, maybe a little angle of attack there. You just kind of want to try and like fine tune them towards that line uh, back and forth. I think mental imagery is massive when it comes to the game of golf. Picturing exactly what you want to happen addressing the golf ball, looking down the line and still seeing that picture and making the swing appropriate to match that picture. You're gonna have guys that show up wanting to know all of their spin rates, their angle of attacks, their launch angles, uh, their ball speed, their club head speed. We have the capability of doing so. We have launch monitors that'll give us all of the numbers, a nine point system to give you all the numbers that you need if that's something that you truly desire. I think it's great to dial in your distances so that you, it's information you can take back onto the golf course. I gotta make sure they laugh every time we're out here because you know, it's a tough sport. You gotta have a sense of humor when things go wrong because you're chasing perfection on an imperfect surface. So, I mean, you'd be crazy not to laugh at yourself. I gave a lesson a couple days ago to a gentleman that I've been giving lessons to for the last year and a half now. And he just texted me and said, I'm back, baby. And explained to me exactly where the aha moment happened. But whether it takes one lesson, two lessons, three lessons, you have to find a way to link it all together for the person that you're giving a lesson to. But I mean, for me, it's nothing better. Nothing better than that. This is my favorite moment of the lesson. I will stop everything I have. I will drop every single thing I'm holding on to and go, how'd that feel? And I just sit there and I just bask in how, how, how they felt as a student because I know we succeeded as a team. That moment is the best moment of the lesson. Just love to see the face just brighten up and just know that they did it finally. We're on and we're going. It's awesome.